Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today is finally the day when I have decided that it is time to change up that chandelier. I've been meaning to do that for a long time and I was like, now is the time to do it. So what I want to do is actually, I want to do the same design as in the same pattern that you see at the top there, but I want to use the natural color instead. So not this, you know, teal, greeny, bluish color. But of course, it wouldn't be me if I didn't add any anything else to it. So I will be adding beads as I feel like I'm doing with a lot of my projects recently. And I'll also be spray painting them with the golden kind of metallic um, color that I used on the modern chandelier that I've uploaded a couple months ago, I guess at this point. And I'll also be doing those tassels that I did on that one too. But before I take you guys through the supplies, I actually wanted to ask you a question. I was thinking that I could go live on YouTube and I was wondering if you would like me to do that. And if yes, then let me know down in the comments. Also, you can start asking the questions or you know, what topics would you like me to talk about? And it can be anything, of course, macrame related, but also any personal questions if you want to get to know me better, because I certainly want to get to know you better. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. And now let's continue with this one. So this is the cord I'll be using for this one. Just the most regular, you know, five millimeter single twist cord in the color natural. And as always down on the screen, you see how much of that cord I am using. Then for the ring, I've got this 40 centimeters in uh, the diameter and I will be spray painting this with the gold. And I will also spray paint these wooden beads. It, they are the exact same beads that I was using on that, um, you know, pink blossom chandelier as well. cords and I'm again using this tire rack very handy for the chandeliers and you can kind of see I've already started with the first section here just so you can see what I'm going to be doing and now I'll show you exactly how to make this but basically the entire chandelier is going to be made up of these sections in the different like alternating patterns so you can really pick a spot anywhere, you know, any of the 88 cords you can start with. Since I've already done this section here, I'll be starting the next one right here. So you can see on this section here that it's made up of eight cords in total, four on each side. So on this first half of the section, these four cords, we will take the one on the very left and we will start making the double half hitches in this diagonal shape. So just taking the very next cord in line and putting on the first loop and then the second one. And so on, we put up all of these other six cords as well. And now we will do the exact same thing just from the other side. So again, picking the next four cords and the one on the very right is going to be our travel cord and just make sure that you're keeping the right angle so that these two sections really meet up in the middle. So when you're done with both sections and you get to the middle, 
you can choose whichever cord of these two to be your travel rope and just put the other one on that cord. Making sure that these are nice and tight. And now we will just repeat, as you can see here again, I've done three rows in the section. So we will do two more rows on each side, but always in the middle, we will do then the same kind of connection like we did in that first row. So first I'm gonna come down through here, put on all of these cords, and then I'll do all of these plus the tribal one that's gonna come out here just to make sure that they are nice and symmetrical like I have them here. And this is again a perfect time when I will be using my hack for making these half hitches much faster. So I'm doing all of these loops and I'm linking that video up there where I explain exactly and show you slowly how I do this. <laughs> the knots I think I'll keep it to just these three rows of the different sections and just to make sure you know how I'm doing the alternating sections I'll show you quickly just now so if I wanted to create a new section right down here in between these two these two cords are going to become my travel cords for that new section so first I'm putting all of these, what is it, seven cords on this one going from the right and then these seven cords on this one. But other than that, it is exactly the same as doing these sections up here. And now it's time to add the tassels. So for the tassels, I think I'll want to do them on like every fourth cord so you can already see that I've highlighted for myself these right here in this first section between these two. The All of the other cords, I'll just pull them up. Well, you can't see, but they're, they're hanging up there. So they're still there, but I've just pulled them to the back to see the four or five cords up here. And you can see that I've already put my first bead right here. For now, it doesn't hold on to anything. It's literally just hanging on the cord. So next, I'm taking these six cords. By the way, these are just scraps from my other projects. I'll hold them up next to, so the middle I'm going to hold up right underneath where I want the bead to sit. And then I'll take the rest of this cord, wrap it around itself, and then make a knot right here, like so. And tie that. So that there is this little thing right there and then I'll just pop the bead onto it and make sure that it's nice and tight. Next thing, I'm taking these scissors and doing a rough cut of where our, I want the end of my tassels to be. And this is including this longer cord which was the leftover from this cord that we were hanging this on. Next, I will be taking my brush and brushing out all of these cords. Okay, so the tassel is brushed out and what I'm going to do now is take another piece of cord, but in here, I will split out only like a few, I don't know, five, six cords, let's see, maybe a little bit more, something like this. So get just a very thin piece of, of the cords and I will do a wrap around these cords at the very top. Oops, hope I can manage. Yeah, like this and then turn them to the back 
And at the back, I'm going to tie this little cord and make a knot right there. Probably two knots actually, just to make sure that it doesn't untie. And there you go. I will take my brush again and kind of brush this into the rest of these cords. Okay, and the only last thing that I need to do is make a clean cut down here. All right, I'm taking my big, really sharp scissors for that. And now I have only 43 more to go. So guys, um, change of plans. 44 tassels is a lot of tassels. And I think I have forgotten since last time how time consuming and tiring those are. And my nose is just completely full of this white fluff everywhere from brushing them out. So instead, I have decided to cut the amount in half. So I've got 22 tassels on here anyways. Um, anyways, I think it worked out because they are so fluffy and, and big that if I were to add twice as many, it would just be too many. It, it wouldn't look that good. Plus they would get tangled in each other all the time. So yeah, I'm making some excuses for why I don't want to and shouldn't do more tassels, but yeah, here we are. The one thing that I still have left to do, you kind of see this blob up here. So that's all of the other cords um, from down here. So what I have to do now is cut all of those and use my hot glue gun to stick them to the back um, of these sections here. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, my fingers are burned and covered in glue, but I am done. Check it out, guys. I am totally in love and I cannot wait to see what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments and I'm looking forward to the next video. Bye.